Okay, so how do I, you know, we've talked about a lot like, hey, just, you know, do this, embed this, and you're good to go. But the question is, how do I embed things into Canvas? And for this video, specifically PDFs or Word documents, things like that. So just regular old papers, not videos. How do I embed those? How do I put those into Canvas? So what I decided, since I'm doing physics and it's all the same for everyone else, is I wanted to embed a formula chart in case one of my students loses a formula chart. And this is an easy thing because it's Googleable, right? So what I'm going to do is I Googled formula charts. I found a regular old formula chart. This is perfect one. Actually, it's the same one that I use. I clicked that. It took me to another page where it was here, and then I downloaded the formula chart. So I click download just like that. Maybe you already have this on a flash drive that's saved because you use it in one of your units. That's fine too. But for me, I just Googled mine. So it downloaded. I downloaded it again. Once I downloaded it, I pulled it to my desktop right here. Okay. And I have it here. So the next thing I wanted to do is when you embed things, all embedding does, it's like a portal that Canvas can pull things from. In other words, I don't like to upload it to Canvas. I put it on Canvas and it pulls it from my Google Drive. So it reaches in from my Google Drive and puts it on Canvas so the kids are seeing it, right? So I went to my Google Drive. I have here, I clicked and dragged my uh, formula chart over to my Google Drive. So it just loaded up. Bam, there it is. And this is what it looks like if I double click it, right? So there's my formula chart. Notice it's two pages. And that's another thing, like, what if I'm trying to embed something that's two pages? That's fine. And it's just it's just like that, right? So I'm going to go back to my canvas. And I'm going to, let's just do it right here, embedding a PDF into canvas. Actually, let's make another one called formula chart. Awesome. So there it is, formula chart. That's the thing that I want to be actually embedded. Embedded. I haven't made any of these videos yet. I'm making the one right now. All right, so I'm clicking formula chart. And, of course, it's blank because I just made it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a table. So it's going to be one square. All right. Okay, so I've made it one block table, and it's right here. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click HTML editor. All right. And we're going to go over what to do after that in a second. So let's go back to Google Drives. I have it here. This is my formula chart. Let me double click that. What I want to do is I want to go to open in new window. And then once I've opened in a new window, I'm going to go to these three dots and I'm going to click embed. Right? Um, let me show you first off what happens if you just try to click this link here I copy my link and then I go back and then I put it right in between these two arrows that TD arrow right in the center if I just click the link notice it's very small it's just a link to my Google Drive and I save it and let's see what it looks like it's just a link that's not good that's not what I want that's not embedding it that's just putting a link right so I don't want to just copy the link okay so let's go back here um, click HTML editor I'm gonna take that out that's not what I want. So if you know if you do it like this and it shows up like as a link, we did it wrong. So what we want to do is, as I said, you clicked it. You said these three dots. You said open a new window, which we just did. It's right here. This is my new window. Then I'm going to open this, and I'm going to click embed item. Now, this is my embed link. You know it's an embed link because it has like the frame sizes and things like that, kind of like a picture frame where it says like it's this high, it's this wide. And it's a longer link. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to copy it. I hit Control C to copy it. You can right click, it doesn't matter. All right. And then you can say OK or whatever. Then I'm going to go back. And then again, in between these two arrows pointing at each other, I'm going to paste. I Control V to paste. You can right click and click paste, it doesn't matter. OK. And then let's save that. And if it worked, there we go. There's our formula chart. So notice, remember, it was two pages. So if they want, they can just scroll just like this. Both pages are here. If by chance, sometimes the things you embed is it's a little bit small looking. So you, they can hit, you know, pop out, and it'll be 
uh, much bigger. So notice how big this is. This is plenty big. I feel like the other one is big enough too, but just in case they can pop it out. So that's how to embed a PDF um, or, or other document into Word. Not a video, but a PDF.